All right, so a couple of minutes ago, I just found the Mogul Moves Easter egg on the front page here by going to the website's code. Um, this is pretty preventable, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. And then at the same time, I'm gonna show, I guess, Ludwig or whoever made this website how to prevent me from doing this in the future. Cause it's actually, it's not too difficult to uh, protect yourself from this. So um, if you press F12 here, you can see all the website information. I think everyone knows this though. But if you download React tools, you can actually view the React components. You can kind of tell when a website's made on React because most websites are made on React nowadays. So what I'm gonna do here is go into the component profile. Now from here, this is kind of somewhat obfuscated, but not really. Um, and you can kind of view each component individually here. Um, this just verifies with me that this was made in React because um, it's clearly broken down into components. I could see the different children and props that are passed to each component. Um, but this part's actually not too important. This is just so I can confirm what it was made in. From here, I can go into um, the source code. And right off the bat, I could see this was made with Next.js. So we have some static um, compiled pages here. And I use Next.js all the time for my web apps. It's, it's a really powerful tool. I highly recommend it um, if you're making a web app. But um, from here though, I can go into the actual pages. So under Next.js, we can look at the, um, the different chunks and whatnot. So under chunks pages, um, we have your underscore app folder. This is created when a Next.js app is created. So every Next.js app has to have this file, um, as well as an FAQ, which is a statically rendered page that tells me that there's a slash FAQ here. If I did this, it would probably take me to an FAQ. Um, and there's one more statically rendered page here, which is the index is what we want. Um, so we're actually gonna take this, um, we're gonna pretty print it for ourselves. Control A it, go into our favorite uh, IDE. And now we're gonna paste it in here. And I'm just gonna save this real quick um, as, I don't know, to my desktop, we call it like mogul.js. So this is gonna activate all of our good old code highlighting. Um, we're gonna control F for the word, um, let's say letter or maybe a uh, mogul seems like a good thing. So there we go. Right here we have the source code for the mogul move letters. And then we have this suspicious variable called P, which is an array of numbers indexed from zero to four. This is exactly what I was looking for when I went into the code. Um, and then as you would probably guess that these are the letters, the notes for the actual notes. So we have D4, E4, F4, G4, and A4 are the pitches to play for each note. And presumably I could change that if I wanted to. It doesn't matter though, but you know, you could change that. And then secondly, you have the actual uh, code here for the, the pattern. So 420-234-20232. And that should bring you to the next page. Um, I guess I could show that now, although I kind of hate typing it in. I'll type it in again. So it's four, two is in the middle, three, or zero. And then two, three, four, and then two, zero, two, three, two. And then that activates the Easter egg. Look, I was drinking on his sevens. Let's not fuck around and get it. Anyways, that takes you to the Ludwig Zone, which is just another website page. Um, usually this takes you to some sort of merch page when their merch drop is going on. So real quick, I'm gonna go over how to actually protect yourself from what I just did. Um, you pretty much just wanna use a Next.js proxy. Next.js proxy, proxy functions are really great because they allow you to actually make um, server functions that aren't real server functions, so API functions. They're called server list functions, actually. So if you just look up Next.js and then you type in the word API, um, this will teach you about it. So whoever made this website, just show them this. Uh, pretty much you can do a backend call to the actual server that serves you the website. And you would just pretty much make a function that's like, I don't know, click note. And then that would store, you would store the pattern on that API. So it would never get served to the user. I would never be able to see it. All I would know is that I clicked a note, I would send it to the API. The API would be like, oh, okay, he clicked a note. Is this the right note for the next part of the sequence? And if it is, then it will send me back a response or something. Um, whether it's true or false, right? Was that the right note for the next the next note in the sequence? And the API would keep track of all that for you. Um, so pretty much just switch over to using 
these proxies and then you can protect yourself. And I'm gonna kind of just put this on my YouTube channel as like a general video, um, cause I do programming videos, so uh, yeah. If you have any sort of secrets, don't ever serve them to the front end because anyone can just look at front end code. Don't ever put a secret, an API key, a password, a code sequence. Don't ever serve that to the front end. So anyways, that's all.